All right, so I've gotten the uh, strut assembly out of the car, and I wanted to show you some of the uh, deficiencies that I found. So I've got here the new, uh, new old stock one that I'm going to put in on the right, and the one that came out of the car on the left. If you notice, this piece is not attached. The welds have broken off, and the end of the shock has been ripped apart which means that now this has absolutely no resistance whatsoever. I should not be able to just do this at all. And so this was providing absolutely no damping whatsoever, which is why this bump stop is all smashed and soft and ruined. If you compare that to this new one, you know, I can I cannot squish this by hand. So this also comes with a nice new uh, kind of bellows unit here. So we'll uh, be putting that back in here. One nice thing about this car is that the whole strut assembly in the top bolts to this, uh, this uh, frame piece. This just goes in here like, like this. And those nuts that are in there actually came out really quite easily. I was a little worried that would be difficult, but it came right out. Now one other thing I'm going to probably want to renew here is this, uh, this rubber piece which sets the, the uh, height of the suspension. And this one, well, you can see it's got a little bit of compression in there. I you know, I might just reuse these. I want to get this done this weekend. and. The scary thing is, is that I was driving the car like this. I had no idea that, that I mean, let alone that the shock had no oil in it. That's bad enough. But that this um, attachment, which actually helps hold the wheel onto the car, was just literally nothing. That's just amazing. I'm really shocked. I mean, I I drove this thing out to uh, up to New Hampshire. I drove it to Virginia. Drove it up in northern Michigan through a giant snowstorm. Didn't think anything of it. <laughs> Definitely uh, should have addressed this sooner.